Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. I am Nadine. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a square foot garden seed square. Um, so this is basically going to be a template for any square foot gardening as far as where to space your seeds at um, and just make it a very easy process for you if you're doing the square foot garden method or if you just like knowing how many seeds you can put in a square foot area. Um, any of that. This is just going to make um, putting your seeds in the ground spaced perfectly apart uh, a whole lot easier. Now you can order this off of Amazon. I can leave a link below for you, um, but I really didn't want to spend $30 on this, so I'm just doing it out of scrap wood and out of materials that I already had uh, to make my seed starting or my seed planting this year just a little bit easier and a little less. Um, uh, heavy on the mind work. So um, what I'm basically doing is I just found a scrap piece of plywood in my garage. I cut it down to a 12 inch by 12 inch square. So it, is, it might not be perfectly square, but it's as close as possible. And now I'm going to map out the seeds for, or the seed holes in uh, my square here. And then I'm going to drill them with a the drill. I'm gonna sand it real quick so I don't get splinters. And then I will have a map basically for how and where I can put seeds in a square foot section in my garden. So here is my square of plywood. I'm just using a ruler and a Sharpie and I'm gonna mark out where to drill my holes for my seeds. So I'm going to start with the center. So we've got one seed per square foot and then I'm going to do um, four per, per square foot and then we'll do eight and then we'll do I think it's nine it might be 12 um, so anyway it'll be like four then three then two then one um, and I'll show you as I go along but we're just going to be using the ruler and the sharpie to kind of measure it out and put those dots in and then we're going to drill them and then we'll have our square foot seed square. So we got all of our holes mapped out. So now we're just going to drill them out of here and we'll be able to just use this map to drop our seeds into the ground.
Alrighty guys, so my square foot seed square is officially done. So what I might do, I might go back through and either paint or use a colored marker around the circles so I know just at a glance what's what. Um, and then I might even uh, put a coat of polyurethane on it to help keep the wood nice when it's up against the soil. But for right now, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So this seed square is going to help me plot out um, eight seeds per square foot, nine seeds per square foot, uh, four seeds per square foot, one seed per square foot, um, so on and so forth. So I'm really happy to have this tool and see how it works in my garden this year because usually I'm just playing it by ear and um, kind of just eyeballing it and guessing. So this will be a really nice tool to have. So I'm excited to use it in the garden. I'm really excited to use it in my cut flower garden because a lot of that is um, seeds per square foot. Um, and this is just going to take a lot of the brain work out of it and just make it super stupid simple for me. So I'm excited to use this. If you guys found this video helpful in any way, go ahead and hit the like button on your way out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel and it helps to support me and the content that I'm creating. So if you are not a subscriber yet, please hit that subscribe button. And then as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and remember to grow where you're planted.